So hello, I'm totally experimenting today. Um, I'm gonna show you another level. I'm gonna show you how I got there. Um, kind of, sh I only have three push pins over here this morning, so I decided to use my little cups. Um, you can get these at the dollar store. I used them for some paints that I mixed up, and it, it I wasn't quite level, so I put the lids on these two on this side to bring it up because it just needed to come up just a touch. So that's kind of where those are. I mean, I'm going to have to clean those at some point. You know, fortunately, the little paints are, I don't know, we'll figure that out. I let my daughters do that, but so we're level that way and we're level that way. And I need to load my canvas. This is my basic um, flow trial paint water. So Two, one, and then three fourths of what's left, right? So um, that's what that is. That's how I mix pretty much all my paints. Oh, there you go. So, still booted and trying to figure out how to get comfortable with that. And that has flat canvas. Oops, that's not on there. I should be way more careful with my stuff. Okay. And let's see how that goes. Um, let's stick the little paint tool. When I get around to doing some bigger canvases. I'll use this, but for my little one, I'm thinking I'm still going to just use this because see, this is like even bigger than my canvas. So, yes. I'm going to do this. I'm not talking much this morning. I'm just not feeling super talkative. I actually thought about doing this with no talking at all in a video. I mean, I know what you guys would think of that. Um, so it's actually getting kind of hard for me because like I want to come and paint when it's too noisy to try to videotape with all the noise in my house. And so, so then I don't. So I may have to switch to doing some things with you guys not around, but um, I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure that out. But for the moment, I said I want you guys to see like the process of, of me you know, in the learning and growing phase. So it's still just me trying to get it all figured out. Um, I don't have my white squeeze bottle at the bottom of the other room and on accident and now because of my with this big boot on my ankle still. Um, that I'm not actually allowed to walk on yet. Um, so I'm flooding over the edges. I want to make sure my edges get done. Not seeing some there. There we go. It's not on that edge. I can't see this other edge, so I just kind of have to go by the feel of it. And I can always touch edges up at the end when they're all done. So. And, I'm going to try to even this out just a little bit. Oh, well, I'm not being really loud. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. So I guess I don't want to yell at the camera. But I'm in a nice kind of quiet mode at the moment. Not a whole lot going on. The girls are doing, in school, doing their online classes. Now that we have our internet box, so there's a story I could share. So, um, back, oh, not too long after we moved in, we uh, paid Comcast to run uh, internet cable from the main street up our little back gravel road um, to our house. Our neighbors helped pitch in so that it went to all other houses too. There's, you know, there's like five of us. And so um, we did that. And when they came out to bury our line from the pole to the house, 
they used pickaxes and they only buried it about that deep. We complained at the time, they didn't fix it. That's a thing, so even though it was like that. And my husband went out to rototill for garden this year and the rototiller tore up the wire and so we were without internet. So, um, but they came yesterday and took care of getting us some internet. And so yay, we're back to having internet and changed out our modem so we even have quote unquote better internet. Anyway. Alright, so these color I wanted to do like a green blue and um, I didn't have a green in my squeeze bottles. I just have some basic colors. So all three of these colors are just mixed by using my pre-mixed um brilliant yellow by Artist Loft and my Look at Me Blue by Folk Art. Um so this one was one part blue to one part yellow. And this one is, uh, it's a B2Y1. So that's two parts blue, one part yellow. And this one is a uh, yellow, three parts blue, one part. Give me kind of a yellow green. So I don't know how that's gonna turn out. Um, kind of wanting a contrast color in there. And so I didn't know if I should go gold or silver. So thinking maybe with these colors, I should go gold. So I also use my old gold from Artist Loft and pre-mixed same as I did my white. Okay, so it's it, it's a two to one photol of paint and then your water is three fourths of the amount of paint. So that's, that's, that's my measurement. So I figure that's an easy way to do it no matter what size container you're in, you, you know what you're doing. Um, so basically you take your container and you divide it in fourths and you do half or two fourths of it with Floetrol, the other fourth with paint. And then that top fourth, you're only doing that three fourths of the way because you want a little bit left so that you have shakeability. So that's an easy way to kind of remember that. So um, the question is, am I gonna blow this or am I gonna do a ring pour? <coughs> and um, I don't know, I, I think I'm gonna blow it, but first I need to pop all these bubbles in here in my white. And just a quick pass over. Got some over there. Pop, pop, pop for me, guys. And over there. And over there. there we go. I don't want to get too close to the paint. That one doesn't want to pop. Okay. So I got a little tiny hair in there. There. Okay. Alrighty. So if you will turn that back off. And then we'll get started. Oops. Get that. There we go. Maybe it wasn't about water. I don't know what it was. Alright. So um, I'm going to start with the darker green, I think. Um, and I've decided I kind of like doing it this way. Off the edge there. Um, back in there. Like these are really nifty little containers. You know, Dollar Store, Dollar Tree, Walmart, Amazon. They're just little condiment cups. Sam's Club, you know, whatever. All right. Um, then I'm going to do the, the more yellow of the colors. So if I tilt, I'll try to do this left handed so you guys can see more. So starting just off the edge so that it, you know, it goes down the edge of the canvas. Here. Just a little wiggly in here. Boop, boop. There we go. There. The paint shirt apron. Put the cap back on. And then we'll go. Um, I think then I want to do the gold. Okay. Um, make sure I don't have any goop in the cap of that. It's been a while since I used it. Okay. And we're going to do this. Again, I'm adding paint via left hand. So, okay, there we go. All right, cap 
back on because you don't want to spill anything. And then we're going to go for the darker green. Yeah. This is the 50-50 green. So, I'm going to try to do my paint left-handed so that I get into the camera. Yeah, that looks an awful lot like the other one. I think maybe I need to, I don't know, figure something out. Add more blue to this one. Or to that one, I guess. Because those look an awful, they're really close in color. Different, but really close. All right. Um, I don't actually have my, my squirt bottle with my wipe, so I'm going to just... I'm going backwards for you guys, huh? Right, so I don't want to pour a lot on, and I'm instead of blowing it over the top, I'm just gonna like do a little right down the center. So, come on, Ooh, a little too much on that end. Anyway, yeah, we'll see how that works. It's a lovely thing. One of the reasons I like abs, quote unquote, an abstract form of art. So the flow of it is that. It, Accidents, mistakes, failures, whatever you want to call them, it's just a still art, <laughs> even if it's not exactly what you planned on. All right, so I love this. It's a, like a little mini leaf blower. Um, I got this off Amazon. It's called the smallest blower in the world. It's only got two settings, on and off. Um, yeah. Yeah. Let's see how this goes. I'm learning that if you point it more down instead of out, it blows better. So this one had way too much white on it at the same I think. It's alright, this is all a learning experience for all of us. So. Next week, we get to teach my grandchildren how to paint. So, um, I'll tell you about that. I'm going to mix up some paints, um, but I'm going to mix them. I'm not going to add Floetrol. I'm not going to use expensive paints. My, my grandchildren are like two and three years old, <laughs> the ones that are coming to visit. Um, but what I am going to do, well, let's try going back this direction. And see if this flows at all. It's like I just don't quite have enough paint on there to get it to flow right here. Oops. Oh, that's a And what I'm going to do is so, so I'm going to take my acrylics and um, I'm going to use some of these little cups. I actually might get some little squeeze bottles for them so that they don't make quite as much of a mess. Uh, whatever. Okay, so this is not working really well, so I don't know, like maybe I didn't have enough paint. Maybe I should have done the white next to it and blown it over. Yeah. Why should I try new things? And other people have learned to try on error themselves already. Okay, so I'm probably going to scrap and you know, scrape this one, guys. Um, I like the colors. Ah. Look again. I really like this blower. It usually looks really well for me. I don't think so. Okay. I just need to figure something else out. I just like didn't have enough white on here to make it flow. So before scrapping. Let's try some tilting. Um, let me add a little white to the edges to help the flow, maybe. Um, and we'll, oof, a little over here. And we'll, we'll try some stretching and tilting and see what happens. And if I don't like it, then we'll scrape it and start over. But anyway, so as I was saying, so for the grandkids, I'm going to take some, just some acrylic and some water to thin it out and a little drop of Dawn dish soap to make it easier to clean up and I'll just mix them in these actually I think I might just get some little squeeze I'll get like some smaller squeeze bottles 
to make it easier for them to control the paint, unless I'm just gonna let them finger paint. I, don't, I haven't figured that one out yet. All right, so let's, um, I wanna blow some of this white over the top a little bit, kind of what I didn't do before. Blow this back this way a little bit. All right. To get it ready for tilting and flowing. So we're gonna just kind of see if I can't fix what I did. And see where it goes from there. Um, yeah, yeah, like I said, I don't want to scrape and scrap in this one. Alright. Let's do some stretching. We're gonna go this way a little bit. Let's see what happens. I don't know if you can. Yeah. Okay, and then, oops. I'm gonna go back the other direction. Let's see what we get here. I don't know that this is really working. So let's try some of the mouth blowing. I've not really got that. Let me see. time with the little blower and see what happens. Maybe I just need to add more color to it actually. What do we think about that? Let's add some more color to it. Why not? So I'm going to do some green. I know I'm backwards for you guys. It's just easier to do with my right hand. Boys and girls, whoo! On that one. Do this the right way for you guys. Um, but yeah, pretty much with your paint, you just add a little Dawn dish soap to it. It makes it way easier for cleanup when you're doing a little kid. And I'm not going to do that to my regular paints in, in my mixed bottles, but I'll do that for these. I'm not going to have to use the flow trawl, I'll just use water for them. Um, Oops. And then, um, all right, let's put some more gold on there. A little bit to the center of that one down right there. Right. See what happens. We're gonna try this one more time and see how this works, okay? All right, my fingers off. Oh. Pop some bubbles. I'm going to turn the flame up just a touch. Okay, we got that. Um, I need a little bit of white paint right here. I can see the canvas in there. Shall we try blowing again? Let's try blowing again. With this little one, I think I just don't move it as fast. This is a big one. And I think I have more success. I just need to go slow with it. Well, I'm not talking much, I'm not. I guess I'm just not talking to talk here sometimes. So I got that. I think it doesn't mean I'm learning there. Um, Let's see. I have puppy dogs. They're not very little puppies anymore. Um, so I have a miniature piebald dachshund. So piebald just means he's, it's the coloring, it's that he's a black and white. 
and I'll just leave this guy alone, but he's going to sleep black well and white. And then um, I have a, a Beagle Terrier mix. And she's just beautiful. Um, I did let the two of them have puppies together. And they were gorgeous, but they've all been rehomed. They have their own little families now. We do get to see them once in a while because some of their families live nearby. And so, but their puppies were the cutest little things we've ever seen. Them. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we're going to like this when it's all said and done, but I'm, I'm really liking the colors. Um, I don't know if I can remember just, uh, maybe I was, because I was used to the big blow dryer just having so much power and having to move it faster, I guess I was trying to move this too fast, too. So slower. And process here because I've got a big old pile of paint here, so if I can't move that. But anyway, so uh, my dachshund's name is Texas um, because big things come in small packages, and Texas is big. Well, the dog is small, he said Texas is kind of big, and that's also where we got him because we. Got him. Um, I think we're again. Um, if you're wondering, that we're up in Virginia currently. We've moved all kinds of places. Um, I'm not sure so, this is going to be, I think people who like these colors are really going to like this. It's really turning out really nicely, I think. Even though at first I was worried. Just took a little bit more patience than I thought. So, but here's the deal: if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Um, my daddy taught me that, but I've also really had a lot of fun watching, like uh, Mina Villegas, or um, especially Camilla Sirocco. Um, you know, just because you don't like it doesn't mean you give up. But sometimes you do have to know that look, it's time to scrape it and try again. But I think I really like this. So I've got some cells in here. Um, I don't know if you can see this. So I like it right in here. Got some over here. Oh, but I think if I torched it, I would get like a few more. But I'm gonna bring this up to the camera. I don't know if you can see the hundred dripping paint everywhere. Um, the cells on that. Lost my little footer over here. Okay. Um, Alright, I do need to put some white over here and get this touched up. Okay, bring up that. Um, now. One of the things I do notice, and not necessarily bounce, I have some coming over the edge on this side, and I don't have anything going over the edge on that side, so I'm going to see if I can move this that way a little bit and try to get some of it just to reach to the edge. Come back here and push from back here. Yeah, right from back here. Just because I want there to be some bounce. In the pen. And if I'm going to go along the edge, it kind of should go over the other edge. And the paint pushed out there to do that. There's always lots of paint in the middle if I can get it pushed. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Come on. I can't have to. Oh, I tip over the edge. Come on. Tip, tip. Oh, it pulled back on me. Let me see if I tilt it. Let's try tilting it. Turn my little bit off because it's battery operated. Now let's see if I tilt it. Can I get it to go down over that edge over there? See what I'm talking about? It's like, come on guys, you can do this. If I hold it there long enough, like I don't want to 
change the composition too much, but I wouldn't get it. Come on, you can do it. Come on here, come on. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Okay, there we go. We got a little bit to the edge. Not a lot, but a little bit. Oh, this kind of decided to go off the corner over here. That's okay too. Put my little fingers up there. Um, <coughs> fingers. Okay. Um, so let's take my fingers. Grab my torch. See if I can get a few more um, cells out of it. Let's see if we can do. Let's see. Give me. A, oops. And the safety on, which is a good thing. I want some cells that are right here. Oh, there we go. And a little over here. Put some. Maybe up in here. Maybe that one. There we go. Put it over here. Maybe. I don't know. I don't want to get too close, but there we go. Pop some cells up there. Okay. I think, I think we did good. It needs to dry a little bit. I need to get some white and touch up my edges. Um, let's see. Some white right here. I don't know. I'll have one of my image assistants go grab my little squirt bottle, squeeze bottle for me. But they're currently in class. So. I'll do that off camera. Okay, so. There it is. Bring it down for a close-up. There you go. So let me know what you think. So if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't done that yet. And hit that notification bell. I'm pretending I have one here to ring that I don't actually have. Let my fingers again. Um, if you So you can get notified when I uh, upload another video. Thanks for joining me on my journey.